What's going on guys, Jake Teaser here with Lace Mustang and Automotive News. Today's video, we're gonna talk about how we got the 2.7 liter EcoBoost confirmed in the Ford Bronco. But let me just give you a quick recap of what's been going on. If you're new to the kind of video series I've been doing, I keep you updated. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you're trying to stay updated um, with the latest Bronco news. July 13th is the debut, and then you can go ahead and place your orders. Orders are uh, $100 to get your foot in the door and, and make a reservation. There was a video they posted and it has uh, six cylinder engine noises basically when all along we thought it was gonna be a four banger, but it's not. Pretty much everyone agreed that it was gonna be a six cylinder uh, after hearing that. I don't think anyone said no, that's a four cylinder, but um, then they posted some more photos down there, the CGI of the fenders. They've got these headlights as a teaser. I'm excited about this just because it, you can actually overland and go on long trips and hopefully with that EcoBoost you'll have lots of torque and power and still get decent gas mileage. So that, that's cool. Yes, I would like it to be a five liter Coyote, obviously like everyone else, but the EcoBoost is a great engine. So what's the new news? The new news, uh, also, um, there was a four-door Bronco spotted underneath this cover over here in Michigan. Okay, so basically, someone gave Car Expert a photo of, it's essentially a screenshot, and it shows some engine options. So the Ranger Raptor is going to have three engine options, a twin turbo, a two-liter four-cylinder diesel, a three-liter twin turbo uh, power stroke diesel, which is what we get in the F-150, and then a 2.7 twin turbo EcoBoost. Now, that's what we're assuming is going to come in to the Bronco based on these, the rumors, the sound, and now the screenshot. What they were talking about on the Bronco forms is that the 2.7 liter EcoBoost has all-wheel drive only. Like we said, the Ford Bronco will be revealed on July 13th. The Bronco will launch with a 2.3 liter turbocharged for EcoBoost, which we already know that. That's the engine that they're putting in the, the Mustang and that they're also putting in the Ford Ranger and then they're using also a lot of other Ford vehicles. Uh, the 10-speed automatic transmission is obvious, but that there is gonna be a manual six-speed. It's actually, they call it a seven-speed. It's not, it's a six-speed with a, a crawl gear instead of a transfer case, I believe is, that's what they're doing there. Basically, you can zoom in and you can see that this is the chassis T6, you know, for the Bronco, it's UT, something like this. For the Ranger, it's T6. And then you can see down here that it does say 2.7 liter Nano V6. So, and, and it does also say all wheel drive. It doesn't say four wheel drive, which might indicate, hopefully it does indicate that it's an all. So, so this 2.7 could just be that that the up model that gets the 2.7 EcoBoost also gets all-wheel drive. Just more confirmation for you guys that we're actually going to get that engine set up. That's the latest news, guys. We've got a spotting of something that looks like a four-door Bronco in Detroit, and then we've also got the, uh, it's kind of just a document stating that the 2.7 liter EcoBoost is confirmed. Looks like there's an all-wheel drive indication. Something I'm also excited about is the gas mileage with this 2.7 liter EcoBoost. So it actually looks like the 2020 Ford F-150 with the 2.7 liter gets something like 26 highway, 20 city. The five liter gets something like 21 highway, 15 city. 3.5 liter gets something like 22 highway, 16 city. And we know that the F-150 is a little bit heavier than the Ranger, obviously. And that the Bronco is going to be based on the it's similar to the Ranger chassis. Here's the four wheel drive 2.7 and it gets about 23.18. I'm pretty excited. Hopefully it gets somewhere between 23 and 26 on the highway. And that what that matters is if you're overlanding a lot, you're gonna be traveling 500 miles sometimes to go to a trail, to go camping. Maybe if you do a thousand mile round trip, it's significant. And you know, with the EcoBoost, you do get the power almost of the five liter. It's getting close. If it's 400 foot pounds of torque, that's pretty solid, you know, 325 horse and you can throw a tune on there also. And the tune is not gonna affect the gas mileage unless you're getting into boost a lot on the highway. So if you can get somewhere around 25 miles per gallon on the highway, that's super solid. Now, will it get that with the big off-road tires and the fender flares? Doubtful. But if you're getting 20 plus, that's great because the Land Cruiser and the Sequoia that I've owned in the past get something like you know, 15 miles per gallon on the highway. So you know, uh, a 33% increase, a 33 to 50% increase in gas mileage is pretty awesome in my book. That would cut the gas price from a hundred bucks to go out to Joshua Tree to something like 50 or 70 bucks to go out to. So that, that adds up a lot. So 
Anyways, guys, just something else to think about with the new 2.7 EcoBoost engine that's going to be available in the Bronco. If you want to stay updated with the latest Bronco news, subscribe. I'll keep you updated in the next week as things are rolling out. Every day, I'm just going to keep posting. Also, if you like the channel and you want to support it, hit the links below, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.